r slash ask reddit it's almost 2020 what futurist thing did you seriously think we'd have by now a way to regrow teeth or some sort of way to restore enamel on teeth or even add some sort of coating over it to prevent erosion of the enamel no freaking joke all the stuff we can do and we can't figure out how to regrow a tooth or even stop gums from receding or hell just a way to grow teeth in vitro and use them to replace damaged or non-viable teeth. Elevators that allow you to cancel a floor selection. Some newer ones allow you to undo by pressing the button twice. Smarter traffic lights. What do you mean? It's midnight and I am the only person on the road for 12 miles. Of course I need to wait at the light. Hate when busy intersection have cycle lights, the ones that change on time rather than if a person is waiting at a red light. The city where I live has smart lights at every intersection, so if there's nobody else around, you get a green light before you even come to a stop. What I'd also like though, are lights that can detect when traffic is starting to back up after the intersection, and preemptively turn red before people start filling it up. It's pretty frustrating to wait through 3 cycles to turn left onto a main street because people block the intersection at the end of each cycle. The small town where I live has a smart light at the main interaction. So if there's nobody else around, you get a red light as soon as it detects you're coming. Then there's an unlit parking lot a stone's throw up the hill, where a cop can lay in waiting, ready to can the ass of anyone who dares challenge the red light at 1am. A permanent way to stop balding. Please come soon. I'm 21 and I'm already starting to get a receding hairline. Dad and uncle both started going bald early and I'd rather not. A printer I can plug in and use without installing driver software. I recently bought a new printer and now I'm convinced that there was only one person who ever knew how to write drivers for a printer and he died in 2002. Hey I believe it. I'm old. When I was little in 2020 I thought commercial space tourism would be a thing. It's still only for the billionaires of this world. Escalators taking us everywhere. I got an escalator engineering degree for nothing. This is bullshit. Duck bro you went all in. I will await the escalator utopia. While I wanted hoverboards, I'm pretty impressed. I mean seriously we have fingerprint scanners in our phones. If someone told me that was a thing when I was 8 I would have shit myself. I thought it only happened in spy movies to get past restricted areas. And now we get pissed off when it takes more than 2 attempts to unlock your phone. Making me type in my 6 digit code is like a personal insult. In the 70s and even early 80s I was discouraged from dreaming of a job working with computers because only a very few companies had access to them. Little did anyone realize that in a few short decades virtually everyone would have a literal supercomputer in their pocket. My ex stepdad was always telling me he wanted to get into computers in the early 80s but his mom thought it was just a fad. A bigger size limit on emails and better quality bluetooth technology. Duck me, I have, what, 10 gigabytes of free storage from gmail? I can't keep track anymore, it's probably even higher, but I can't ducking attach more than 25 megabytes. Duck me, it takes less time to download 25 megabytes today than it did to get a plain text message over dial up when I started using the internet. Surely attachments could be a little bigger. Bluetooth is amazing in the ways it can duck up communication between two devices that are 6 inches apart. Business operations without paper. I work in IT and the amount of things this office prints out is ridiculous. I hate printers. I work in payroll and used to print like hundreds of pages a week. Finally led a project that made us go paperless. All I did was propose instead of printing out pages to write on them. We instead save them as PDF and work on them on Adobe. Turns out it's cheaper than all of the paper slash ink we use. And our process is faster because we're not bottlenecked by dying printers. Now we almost never touch it. Limitless paper in a paperless world. People persons paper people. I grew up in the 1960s and I thought we would have been much further along in manned space exploration by now. We haven't gone to Mars yet or even back to the moon since 1972, but I can't complain about the great science returned from unmanned missions, especially the discovery of other solar systems on the positive side. The internet and the smartphone are way beyond anything I imagined happening in my lifetime. A better form of public transport. 
we know how to build fast, frequent, reliable public transit. It's just that very few places spend the money to build and operate it properly. New tech can't fix that. Also, in many places the low density would often require a second form of transportation, train station to home, or require a vastly greater amount of stops, buses. Faster traveling across continents be faster, or at least, cheaper. Seems like we're stuck on the same planes from 10 years ago, would expect the modern ones to be way faster by now, and the current ones we have should be cheaper to reflect that. Something like taking the bullet train versus the regular train. Both should be available at different pressure points. There was a test program in Oklahoma City of an expanded supersonic flight program. The residents found the sonic booms unbearable. This would require supersonic flight to begin and end over unpopulated areas which would limit the flight's inefficiency and value. Since plane design for supersonic speeds is not optimal at slower speeds and vice versa. Actually, most of us are flying on airplanes that were designed 30 years ago. Planes are a little faster. But the biggest upgrades to those have been fuel efficiency and safety. Speed is capped by the sound barrier anyway. So I'll take the modern Boeing and Airbus aircraft over the DC-9 or DC-10 death factories. A part that fell off a DC-10 caused the only fatal Concorde crash in history. A dramatically higher age cap. Not just average lifespan. But the top of the top lifespan. I always thought it'd be cool to see 200 plus year old person. As a kid I thought we'd also be able to transfer out consciousness to a computer or robot for storage until a vessel like an android were invented. The singularity is near. A pill you can take so you can eat whatever you want and not get fat. It's called a tapeworm. Hum. Where to purchase? Off your local worm dealer, of course. Human shaped robots, not necessarily I, but at least some sort of human shaped vacuum cleaner that can walk around my house while cleaning and greet me with its robotic voice. I think I am good with Alexa as is, I don't think giving her a body would be wise. Alexa, play careless whisper and tell me what you're wearing. A robot maid, that cooks, does the laundry, and folds it, and replenishes the fridge. I don't care about those sex androids. They are doing the only task I like to do myself. But a true maid. That would be something worth buying. Yes. Rosie the robot made from the Jetsons. I am sick of cleaning my damn house. Also. Little spaceships as cars. The Jetsons gave me some high expectations. As I was growing up. The internet made everyone so much smarter. Checking facts was easier than ever. Being informed about what went on in the world became possible for almost everyone here. I expected that by this time. We would be mostly rid of propaganda, lies in elections and outright collective dumbness. Instead we live in the area of fake news and politicians and news channels in a lot of countries just seem to lie more than ever. I was born in 80, and my view of growing up in the 90s was that everyone was going to be prosperous. Technology is going to advance rapidly, and we'd end up in a Star Trek-like altruistic society. One of those things happened. iPhones are pretty cool I guess. We do live in a society. I'd have expected us to have dumped fossil fuels by now, even for nuclear as a stopgap. I think the switch to nuclear was always the plan, and would have yielded abundant cheap energy with controllable environmental impact but it faced too much opposition and scaremongering to really reach the penetration it should have reached. Fusion being 20 years away for the past 50 years probably hasn't helped. Why go through the massive expense of a nuclear fission plant with its inherent risks when we're so close to having fusion? Electric cars requiring zero gas could have been the norm a couple decades ago. GM made a fully electric car back in the 90s but it never made it to market, either that or literally no one bought it, because gas was super cheap so nobody really cared. Less than 40 hour work week. A knife that toasts bread when you cut it. That exists. I think Colin Furs made one on YouTube. For starters I never expected racial tensions to be going backwards. It's not that it's getting worse, it's that it's becoming more exposed. Which is honestly the first step towards progress. 
Nothing is worse now that when cops were beating Rodney King in LA, and things weren't actually better during the rest of the 90s or 2000s. We've just been seeing more and more incidents go viral via smartphone sharing across social media in the 24 news cycle in a way that wasn't possible even 10 years ago. A better webcams and a self-sustaining colony on Mars. Those things seem really far apart. A larger focus on space travel. Sure, we have SpaceX but I was expecting something like a new space race to Mars or space tourism like when Richard Branson promised Virgin Galactic 5 years ago. Internet money, come on people. 6.4 billion dollars a year in the US alone we are paying to criminals through credit card fraud. A system designed in the 50s has no place being shoehorned into the internet era. I used to work for a major US bank. We literally use 30 different systems, some that were DOS based, F1 this, tab tab tab, F for that, etc. I asked why we didn't have a GUI system and they said it would cost billions to update all the records and systems. Check it out, I can save these documents to this little bitty 5, 1 stroke 4 floppy, pretty soon we'll live in a world where paper documents will be totally obsolete. Widespread commercial space travel. A word processing application that can proofread, align indentation, and convert dart PDF files without a million minor formatting changes that all need to be stripped out manually. Also, Excel sheets should move seamlessly into Word documents. My iPhone has improved dramatically in 10 years, but Ms. Office has stagnated for the 20 years I have used it. The only improvement is they got rid of Clippy. Everyone I know with an office job is stuck with it and powerless to vote with their wallet for a new standard. It amazes me that nothing has come forward to replace it. Video calling turned out better than I expected as I saw the progress through my childhood. The fact that is in nearly every pocket is a technological breakthrough for the deaf community in my opinion. I haven't seen a single just add water to this pill to get an entire meal project even advertised yet. Science fiction is just that. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.